Shade, Blade, 57, let's play. Okay, we also leveled up, but I'm just gonna do a quick look around here. Good, good, good. There is still a mutant, but that's obs oh, oh, that's over here now. Ow, you hurt my arm. God damn it. Oh, better days. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that. James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation That's just... Ow! James! Okay, and I bet you that's how our character was created, pretty much. Well, oh, the speech. All right. Um, nothing really new for the perk list, so and I can't go gun nut again because it's gone. I've put all the points into it. Science and medicine. Um, melee and explosives with Lana. The sneak, sneak lock pick. That actually could be useful. Uh, I could go toughness. As long as I maintain neutral karma, yeah, no. Um, yeah, there's not much I can. That's really screaming. So for now, I'll go toughness. I'm not, as I said, I'm not getting intense training it. So, but we cleared this place out, I believe. So let's go up here and get these last final notes on pro on project purity and we'll listen to them on our way out uh, five even in vault 101 my work there anything here never really stopped soon after we arrived my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas searching for I don't know whatever I could find it was a voltaic facility after all the place was technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leading his peers and all of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in... We have to listen to these to get the next step to that. His work on something called Gek. Garden of Eden creation kit. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the hall 
files of Vault 112, journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Okay, and one more. I'm off to Vault 112. There we go. For anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. Great. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. So we now need to go all the way over the head over there. Yeah. <sighs> Let's get ready to wander for a good long time. Hello. Oh, shut up. We got a long way to go. Let's go. Let's see what's gonna find us in our journey and murder us. Um, you know what? I'm gonna pause here. One second. I wanna check something. Okay. Back in three, two, one. Okay. Uh, oh wait. Shit, screwed that up. Now we're back in three, two, one. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah. Uh, I just had to check something. I thought my webcam was turned on, and if it, and if like uh, one of the things I was recording with was recording my webcam, uh, it would pretty much be set up for me doing like a video update. So it would take up the entirety of the screen without me actually seeing it, and like block out gameplay. So. I had to make sure that wasn't a thing, or else I lost more than just that recording when my computer crashed. I would have lost literally everything that I've done today, which would which would have probably pissed me off. Probably about it would have pissed me off. I would have just been. I I honestly would have just gone really mad and stopped recording for the day. And you are. Hold it right there, pal. You're giving me everything. <laughs> all right, all right. I wasn't gonna shoot you. Damn gun. Look, this is embarrassing. Yo. <laughs> there you go. Well. No, he attacked. He threatened me. If he threatens me, I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't threaten anyone ever again. I have the ammo to kill, so. Well, it's burn. Uh, we will take a stop. He said, he said that garage is near Evergreen Mills. We will take a stop in Evergreen Mills. Um, and I'll explain why later. Shit, multiple enemies. Can't see them yet. Blowfly. Uh, 